What's up, Meister Village, your boy, Buckmeister, twice the nice that you are used to. Bam! And today we are talking drum roll, please. Boom! Razor Man. That is right, we are talking Razor Man Volume 1. Razor Man Volume 1. Uh, and check it, I got it signed by Bill Masuku himself. Yeah, check it, check it, check it, check it. Yeah, he, he follows me on Instagram. Mm hmm, mm hmm. Shouts out to Bill though, shouts out to Bill though. Ah, man, check this art out. Check this art out. And there's a panel, man. Man, there's this panel. You guys have to see this. This panel, dude. Jeez, there, there. Oh, there it is, there it is, there it is. There it is. <laughs> Y'all just have to, just check that out. Check that out. Uh, uh, let's put it all up in the camera. All up in the camera. This is a wallpaper, dude. This is a wall. This is a cosplay for Comic Con, if you know what I'm saying. Yeah, so Razor Man. Uh, main character Razor Man, aka Love More Gawe, is um, a mechanical genius and apparently a, a pretty good hand to hand combatant, according to the story. Now this dude is this, this dude is a bad he's a bad man and he's pretty. <laughs> so yeah, um just to give you guys some insight about what's going on in this story. So there's a certain event that happens. Uh pff, I don't know, maybe this might be light spoilers, but there's certain events that led to his father's death. His father was a huge activist speaking up against corporations and stuff, which led to his death. So um Love Moore, who was in his third year of doing mechanic mechanical engineering drops out to come back and find out what's going on with his dad apparently he didn't need a third year of engineering because the stuff that he's engineering now i'm saying batman batman tony stark y'all gotta run for your money here <laughs> and i'm saying he's making it on half the budget that you guys are that you guys have he's he's on like half the budget that you guys have but he's making he's like, i gotta give it to him i gotta give it to him so he's got his main homeboy, he's got his main homeboy, uh, Simba, who's another fellow mechanic that helps him make all of his stuff. So he's kind of got like a like an Alfred, but not really an Alfred, they're like partners, which is really nice. And um, his his partner, now you see, Lovemore is an interesting case because he just wants to solve his dad's death. Anything outside of that, he doesn't care. Once he gets the people who killed his dad, no more Razor Man. That's his initial plan. Right, but uh, his 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 homeboy Simba is like, dude, don't you see the changes that you're making in the city and everything? The city's like it's looking cleaner. You know, you inspired some other people. I, I think you need to keep this going. You know what I'm saying? So that's a really interesting dynamic over there. And then we have the villains, which are known as the Thirteen. Um, I don't know. I can't remember all of their names all in my head. I just kind of gave the quick thing a read, a, a read through. But you got like a guy called the scientist. Uh, you got a guy called the messenger, which I think is actually a really dope name. <laughs> and then you also got um. A chick called the zebra and she's also one of my favorite villainous characters at the minute I'm, I'm really liking her vibe you'll see why when you guys get the book uh, if it's not obvious please get the book what are you doing with yourself get some razor man in your system you know what I'm saying anyway so yeah um, and they've got uh, uh, they've got like a really like a really a really cool plan I don't want to give it away too much I don't want to give it away too much and they've also got like a competent police force which is nice to see I really like that the police force is pretty competent you got this other guy you got this woman called Rumbi she's I think I'm saying her name right. I hope I'm saying her name right her name is Rumbi she's uh she's an investigate like she's gone she was working for the police but then she realized things were not moving so she decides to go and you know she decides to be a personal investigator is that what they call pi yeah she decides to be a personal investigator and try and find out you know information for herself on what's going on so she's kind of in the middle between being a vigilante and being a police force person which i think is a pretty interesting character dynamic she might go full vigilante i'm hoping i have to wait for volume two which i'm probably only going to get next year or oh, you know bill masuku at me bro at me bro <laughs> yeah i'll buy it from you i'll buy it from you because this stuff is oh, it's so good it's so good 
Yeah, man, the action sequences in this thing, uh, or the action panels, or the action, I guess if that's what you want to call it, it's really good, it's really clear, I, I really love the art style, because it's kind of like jerky and anime-ish, but it's like, it's also got enough of a distinct feel that it does, that it is comic booky. so you can see that he took like a couple of influences here and there, you've got this amazing system called Roy Fimo, I think that's how you say it, correct me if i'm wrong but it's called roy film or death breath which is it's an awesome concept where um it's it's kind of like you weaponize your ptsd so if something kills you once or twice uh, i think it's once i think it's once yeah like if something or if you have a near-death experience so i think if you die once or you have a near-death experience your ptsd gets weaponized such that you can use it in the form of combat now, Lovemore's thing here is that he got killed by a Roy Femmel user using Roy Femmel. So, um, yeah, there's, there's, there's also this really cool uh, pre-Rhodesian martial art that's, that's being introduced into this thing that is used in conjunction with Roy Femmel. So that means that our hero is going to also get to train when he's already pretty, he's already pretty badass, but he's going to get to train anyway. So I'm looking forward to that arc and I really love the system of weaponizing the PTSDs and it, apparently it's like different for every user as well, which is really, really cool. I really like that. It, that that whole system it just gives me chills thinking about it, but I can't wait for people to like break it down. I mean, that is an interesting concept, weaponized PTSD. The only thing that I would say is a, a knock against the book. Again, the plot is also pretty tight. I like the plot and I kind of like the, the police characters as well. I'm liking every one of the characters in here. There's not a character that's that's soft or weak to me. They're vague, but I mean, they're an interesting type of vague. So there's, the only thing I would say is that it. I had to read it like three, four times. Okay. I had to read it twice to understand what was going on. And then I read it the other four times because it, it's that good. So I think maybe that might be a knock for some people that they can't really follow the story like that immediately. But if I had to give this a rating, you get four out of five book, 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 books. That is right. So you get a book, 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 book. Four out of five. It is that good. I, 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 I'll. Like, personally, I want to give it a 5 out of 5, but I, I mean, I think that maybe because it's a little bit jerky and that it's hard to follow for some people or that it, you don't get it immediately, that might be a problem for some people. So, I mean, I'm just leaving that out there and you can do with that what you wish. But I really enjoyed this book. Please go support it. I'll put a link in the description down below to Enigma Comics. That's the website where you can buy it online. And just treat yourself to a good time in comic books, please. Please, 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 please. And if you guys liked this video, please like, share, subscribe. If you did not, that is your business. And I'll see you in another video because my stomach's going to be out. Peace.